Deep revelation about the stairs to glory and the fall of the servants of God. Today before the midnight prayers with the international prayer warriors, the Lord visited me and took me to show me the stairs of glory that leads to the white glorious palace at the top of the mountain, Mount Zion. Before one climbs those stairs, on the left side is a long-standing queue of beautiful, enticing and seducing young ladies and women attracting servants of God mounting the stairs of glory. The stairs were made of diamonds that had a watercolor in bluish and decorated with diamonds. The stairs had stair rails in the middle and on the left side were millions of seductive and shining women making so many pastors fall from the stairs of glory to disgrace. On the right side of the stairs of glory, were seated some people who were verifying the acts and steps of servants of God mounting the stairs. These on the right side, I knew they were children of God, or I think angels, and they were seated to see how the servants of God will make it to the palace at the top of the mountain. I was standing at the bottom of the mountain and watching from afar how the first servants of God who in this revelation seemed as big pastors on the earth. The first ones mounted the stairs but their eyes were looking at the seductive and enticing young ladies on the left while climbing the stairs and all of sudden, this one fell right to the bottom and the mermaids ran to get him and dealt with him by their left side. These ladies were shining in impurity and worldliness and they were in constant incantations to entice anyone that mounts the stairs of glory to the white palace. These had a lot of power to devour the servants of God who apparently would look at them with wanton or lustful eyes. Then I saw several pastors trying to mount the stairs but their eyes were looking at the beauty of the mermaid ladies that looked so wanting and good for the eyes to look at, and these also fell from the stairs of glory and the ladies got them and dealt with them in all kinds of impurities and sin. When I was watching this scene unfold, I got angry in my spirit and I determined to defy the young ladies and make it to the top of the stairs in order to enter into the premises of the white palace. I knew in me that if I failed, I would also fail in the physical world. I also knew that a lot was in stake here but while I was angry in the spirit, my flesh desired to look at these seductive ladies and yet I determined to overcome them. After seeing so many servants of God fail to climb the stairs, my turn came to climb. I went stairs on the stairs to climb. Those on the right side were attentively looking and waiting for me and the mermaids on the left side were in intense incantations against me. I climbed the stairs until the third stair without holding the rails of the stairs when all of sudden, my left foot slipped back to the second stairs and I was almost falling to the ground I held immediately on the rails of the stairs and gripped securely and breathed hard and realized now that it was not that easy to climb those stairs without the help of the stair rails. When that happened, the woman from the right side waiting said, you see we know you are a pastor, and we know you very well. I saw you from the bottom and you ignored to pray very well before climbing the stairs of glory. Please always pray very well before coming to climb these stairs because those ladies you see in the left side, these are many millions of mermaids enticing so many servants of God and reclaiming them back. This is reclamation, she said. The woman also repeated, to climb these stairs, you really need serious prayers and do not ignore that fact that these ladies are very seductive and can easily make you fall. When heard that, I realized that I need to climb the stairs of glory, holding fast and gripped on the stair rails the only support I had, and walk. I started giving firm steps and each time, I held place my hands forward the stair rail before giving the step forward. I climbed, and climbed and climbed and climbed the stairs of glory until the end. When I reached the end, I gave a deep breath and proclaimed victory over the mermaids and evil ladies and everyone on the right side were in amazement that I made it. I myself was so thrilled, amazed and yet with full assurance how hard and difficult it was. I got to the top and now had access to the wild palace that I believe it is the top Mount Zion of glory. The ladies on the left side were very disappointed that I made it to the top of the stairs without falling back like all those pastors that they succeeded to entice and seduce into the worldliness. Then at the top, I was thinking, wow, how easily these pastors fall and even myself I almost fell. I woke up trembling and shaking really that I barely made it to the top by the help of the stairs rails and the Holy Spirit gave the deep interpretation below while in prayer with the prayer team. Spiritual meaning of the deep revelational dream. Stairs of glory, this is the road of destiny to eternity. This is the highway of holiness of the Lord in which every servant of God must walk into to be able to access the palace of the Lord at the top of the Mount Zion. Stair rails in the middle of the stairs of glory, these symbolize the anchor, the only support. The Lord is my strength and my refuge and my very present help in trouble.
Psalms 46, 1. This is the Lord Himself. This is the Holy Spirit of God who helps you in all the infirmities. White Palace, this is the palace of the Lord. This is the final accomplishment of glory when we overcome the obstacles of life. Seductive ladies on the left side, these ladies represent the things of the world, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life and the lust of the flesh. They were so attractive and seducing to pastors that they were paying too much attention to them. They were very beautiful to behold and this is why the pastors fell from glory to grass. These are the sexual sins, sexual desires, lust and love of money and the pleasure of this life. People on the right side of the stairs of glory, these even I realized were children of God. These are the angels of God who verify and watch and register everything that happens on the face of the earth to the servants and children of God mounting the stairs of glory. They certify and warn us and telling us what to do. These particular people were concerned with me and they wanted me to succeed and they were relieved and happy when I made it to the top. Pastors mounting the stairs, these are the servants of God, children of God in the direction to heaven but being seduced by the things of the world and the cares of this life. Instead of looking at Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of faith, they look and pay attention to the things of the world and its seducing power. R-E-C-L-A-M-A-T-I-O-N-S, these are the past life. These are the warring members in our flesh enticing us to go back to the things of the world. Scriptures. 1 John 2 14 16 14 I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abided in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. 15 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 16 For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. 1 Co 10 12 Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. 1 Pay 4 2 That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of God. 1 Pay 4 3 For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in lasciviousness, lusts, excessive wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Job 31. When I made a covenant with mine eyes, why then should I think upon a maid? Brethren, the Lord is calling on the world and the church to wake up because at any moment, the rapture will take place. Prepare for the coming of the Lord in absolute holiness and righteousness. Your brother in the service of the Master and Commander-in-Chief of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wake up church, repent and return to the Lord in intimacy with the Holy Spirit. He will list you again as the wise virgin if you repent. Revive your fire from your heart and seek the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord in all purity, righteousness and holiness. Deep revelation about